My name is Robert Bonavito, New Jersey Forensic Accountant. This video is part of a series of videos where I discuss forensic accounting topics for educational purposes only. If this was a litigated matter, I would take a different approach, have different conclusions based on different facts and circumstances. My name is Robert Bonavito, New Jersey Forensic Accountant, and in our firm we do a lot of valuations. And I just want to give people an understanding of how you value a company, and how companies have been valued since the beginning of time. And, and basically, uh, th this is an example you know, we often use. And this here is a bag of Kennedy half dollars. Okay, let's say it's a, a hundred million dollars of, of uh, Kennedy dollars in here. How much are you going to give me for this if I give you this bag? Okay, it's a hundred million dollars of Kennedy half dollars. You're going to give me 99 million? You're going to give me 98? Well, you should give me a hundred million dollars. Okay, because that's what this is worth, right? It's a hundred million dollars. You don't, you don't believe me that they're, they're in here? Look. What are you going to give me for this? Okay, you're going to give me a hundred million dollars. Okay, now let me give you a little example of what I mean, because business valuation, we make it so complex, but really what you're paying for is cash flow, right? Okay, just like I gave you $100 million here, you're going to give me $100 million. If that's the fair market value, that's what you're going to pay for it. How do you calculate fair market value? It's cash. In this case, $100 million of Kennedy half dollars. Let's, let's do a quick example here. Okay, let's say I was going to give you um, $100 million of Kennedy half dollars at the end of year one, 100 million at year two, and 100 million at the end of year three. Okay, and I want you to give me 300 million for that. Okay? I mean, take a look at the money, it's right here. Okay, I want, are you gonna do that? Hopefully you said no. Okay, why wouldn't you give me 300 million even though I'm gonna give you 300 million? I just did an example where I said 100 million was fair right because I was going to give you 100 million you're going to give me 100 million but here because you're getting these cash flows at the end of the year you would take a discount I'm going to use a 6% discount here and I'm going to discount this I'm going to discount this and I'm going to discount this all I'm doing is dividing it by 106 for year 1 106 to the second power 106 to uh, you know cubed and when I add this up I get like 200 and I don't know 250 million dollars. So what you should probably pay for this cash flow is 250 million. You shouldn't pay 300 million. And that's all valuation is. Okay? I mean, it's complex because you know, we got to figure out the cash flows, we got to figure out discounts, we got to, you know, we're 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 forecasting and time traveling and all kinds of crazy stuff to get these values. But um, in, in a nutshell, that's all it is. And when you look at a valuation, look at the cash flows. How much am I getting? You're going to buy a stock. What dividend am I going to get? When am I going to get the dividend? Am I going to get the dividend 10 years from now? Well, I want dividend. Okay, I could sell the stock maybe for a capital gain, but you're really getting that cash flow. It's pretty simple, and I know that they, you know we fill textbook after textbook after textbook up on this stuff because we make it so complicated. But in a nutshell, this is business valuation. I'm Robert Bonavito. If you have any questions concerning this video, please feel free to email me.